The CIA tried to cover up these photos for so long. Aliens and Soviets and Moon Landings, oh my. These are some of the topics of the following declassified government photos that the CIA once wanted absolutely no one to see. And let's just say that some of them are pretty shocking. So it makes total sense why they were hidden for so long. They'll make you question everything you thought you knew and maybe even your own sanity. So keep watching at your own discretion. You've been warned. Operation Ivy After the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan during World War II, the United States government went ahead and conducted several series of thermonuclear device testing. The eighth of these series was known as Operation Ivy, which involved two planned explosions on the island of Eulage Lab in the Marshall Islands. Pictured as the first of these full-scale explosions, and more specifically, the first ever test of a hydrogen bomb detonation, nicknamed Ivy Mike. Ivy Mike was detonated on November 1, 1952. How Mount Rushmore was supposed to look As it turns out, the Mount Rushmore National Memorial ended up looking quite a bit different than what sculptor Gutzon Borglum was envisioning. As you can see here from the model, this is because they ran out of funding for the project during its construction, and so they were forced to stop after the heads. But we have to say, it's good that Borglum decided to start with the heads and work his way down. Otherwise, it'd just be a bunch of headless bodies. A warehouse full of chemical weapons. This creepy photo shows two Soviet scientists in full protective suits in a safe house for chemical weapons during the Cold War in the 1960s. The general public was already paranoid enough about the idea of a nuclear war igniting at any given time between the Soviet Union and the United States, so it's good that the US government never let this photo leak to the public, because it would have surely caused mass panic to anyone who stumbled across it. Heaven's Eye This massive thing is the 500-meter aperture spherical telescope, otherwise known as FAST, otherwise nicknamed Tianyan, Heaven's Eye, in Mandarin. So what is this thing exactly? Well, it's a radio telescope that's located in southwest China that's used to detect all kinds of radio signals from across the Milky Way galaxy, even as far as a thousand light years away. It's also the biggest filled aperture radio telescope in the world. Construction of FAST began in 2011, and it was declared fully operational in January of 2020. The Fat Man The Fat Man was the code name for the nuclear bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki during World War II on August 9, 1945. It was the second of just two nuclear weapons that have ever been used in the history of warfare. The first was code named the Little Boy, and together they killed as many as 200,000 Japanese civilians. This image is an important piece of history to learn about so that we can make sure that these atrocities are never committed again. The Biggest Secret Facility in America This photo is of the outside of the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, a massive defensive bunker that's a part of the United States Space Force located in unincorporated El Paso County, Colorado. It is supposedly the largest secret facility in America, but good luck confirming that with your own eyes, as it's nearly impossible to get clearance to visit. Supposedly, it is able to withstand all nuclear blasts, and is used as a land base for ICBMs, but we'll never know that for sure. A Government UFO Sighting In the 1960s, everybody and their grandmother was terrified of UFOs, and this image is at least partly to blame for that. It's an official government document that details the sighting of a UFO over the Nevada desert in 1963, as presented by the FBI. As you can see, some of the details were intentionally blurred out. But nonetheless, it's pretty clear proof that a government entity encountered some sort of unidentified flying object. Operation High Jump Operation High Jump refers to the 1946 mission to establish an American research base in the Antarctic, called Little America 4. The goals of Operation High Jump included training military personnel in frigid conditions, spying on the Soviets after the end of World War II, and perhaps above all, amplifying American sovereignty over the largest conceivable area in the Antarctic continent. 
This previously classified photo shows a U.S. Navy ship that got stuck between two icebergs in the region. A Secret Base in the Pacific This photo of Johnson Atoll, also known as Kalama Atoll by Native Hawaiians, it's an incorporated territory of the United States located between the Marshall Islands and the Hawaiian Islands that was used for about 70 years as a top-secret naval refueling depot, an airbase, a nuclear and biological weapons testing site, a missile base, and a chemical weapons storage site. While still closed to the public to this day, it now operates as a national wildlife refuge. Fighting Pilot Fatigue this odd-looking contraption was used to help pilots fight off fatigue as some of the longer missions during World War II forced them to fly for longer periods of time without breaks. This photo, which was taken in 1952, didn't become declassified to the general public until fairly recently. Looking at it kind of just leaves you with more questions than answers. But it's one thing for sure, it definitely looks a little questionable and unethical. A flying saucer? Well, technically it is a flying saucer, but not in the same sense that a lot of Americans were thinking during the UFO craze of the 1960s. This disc-shaped thing in the middle of the photo is an experimental aircraft created by the United States Air Force. Several of these flying saucers were sighted over the southwest region of the United States, which includes Area 51, which might explain why so many people firmly believed they'd seen an alien spaceship. The Roswell Incident In 1947, an unidentified flying object crashed at a ranch near Roswell, New Mexico, which led to rumors and conspiracy theories that it was some sort of extraterrestrial flying saucer. But here's where it gets extra weird. On July 8, 1947, the U.S. Air Force released an official statement that it had discovered a flying disc at the site, but then quickly took back the statement and instead claimed that it was just a regular old weather balloon. So what's the truth then? We may never know, but here's a declassified photo of officials cleaning up the mess from the crash. The first playground slide. You probably didn't know that the first playground slide wasn't invented until 1922. What did kids even do for fun before that? We'll never know. The slide in this particular photo was constructed by Charles Wickstead. It was made out of wood, which sounds like a pretty big design flaw if you ask us. So why was this photo even classified in the first place? Maybe because it gives us a modern day look into how lawless and unsafe things were back in the old days. Building a Soviet Spacecraft The Cold War saw fierce competition between the Soviet Union and the United States in a number of respects, including who could get to space the fastest and with the most cutting-edge technology. Pictured is the construction of Buran, a Soviet space shuttle, in 1982. Buran was built in a factory in Moscow and then transported to the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The Cosmodrome was the world's first spaceport for human launches and the largest space launch facility. Constructing the Berlin Wall We've all seen photos of the fall of the Berlin Wall in our high school history textbooks, but not too many photos of its construction, like this one, exist in the public domain. Construction of the wall began in 1961 and served as a way to keep West Berlin and surrounding East Germany separated from one another. Here's a fun fact you may not have known. In 1987, David Bowie played a concert in West Berlin, which was attended by thousands of East Berliners who listened across the wall. The concert was followed by riots that are now widely considered to be the first in a series that led to the ultimate fall of the wall in November 1989. The Birth of the Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty is such an important cultural symbol in the United States that it's weird to think about the fact that it was actually constructed by the French. It's true. The idea behind Lady Liberty was conceived by Edouard René de La Boulie a president of the French Anti-Slavery Society, and abolitionist Frederick Bartholdi. The two got together in 1865 to discuss presenting the United States with some sort of gift to show their appreciation for the Union's victory after the Civil War had ended. And thus, Lady Liberty was born and dedicated in 1886 by President Grover Cleveland. Atomic Dummies 
In order to test nuclear bombs before actually using them on foreign countries, the United States military used test dummies like the ones pictured here. They'd stick them in the vicinity near where the bomb was to be detonated in order to examine the extent of injuries it may cause a real-life human. The dummies may not be real people, but it's still pretty chilling to think of real people being affected by an atomic bomb like that. The German Bullet Train The Scheine Zeppelin was Germany's experimental high-speed bullet train designed by Franz Kruckenberg in 1929. Its sleek design was modeled after the Zeppelin airship, and it was designed to travel 143 miles per hour, making it the fastest petrol-powered rail vehicle of its time. But ultimately, only one sample was ever constructed, and it was eventually dismantled in 1939 due to safety concerns. Today, the record holder for the fastest rail vehicle is France's TGV, which reaches the impressive speed of 357.2 miles per hour. The Titanic's Final Photo You probably already knew the fateful story of the Titanic sinking in 1912, but you probably haven't seen this photo, which was supposedly the last to be taken before the ship began to sink down to her icy grave. The conditions at that depth of the Atlantic Ocean are so frigid that much of the ship is still intact and preserved, and even today, researchers continue to study it on the ocean floor. The Queen Shooting a Very Large Gun You may have seen the jokes circulating the internet about how Queen Elizabeth is immortal, and this photo just seems like a testament to that. The photo was taken in 1993, when the Queen visited Surrey in the United Kingdom, and apparently she felt that pulling the trigger on an L-85 rifle would be the most natural thing to do while there. We're not sure what the best part of the photo is. The Queen's searing focus or the officer's look of total fatherly adoration. An underground base. This declassified photo shows a military base located deep underground. Supposedly, some of these underground bases were constructed during the Cold War, and the government has said that they're no longer in use today. For all the conspiracy theorists out there, one particularly interesting theory is that of the Dulce base which claims that a jointly operated human-alien base exists underneath the Archuleta Mesa near the town of Dulce, New Mexico. This theory was first put forth by Albuquerque businessman Paul Benowitz and is quite silly, to say the least. But then again, who knows the extent of what the government is hiding from us? A teeny flying saucer It's pretty clear why the government might have wanted this photo to stay out of public sight until recently. We can't be certain if this is hard proof of an extraterrestrial spacecraft. It may just be some sort of foreign reconnaissance aircraft that was shot down or lost at one point. Either way, it definitely appears to be some type of unidentified flying object, and the CIA has apparently decided it was okay to let the public see it. Walking on the Moon I hope my leg don't break walking on the moon, Sting, and the astronauts probably. Despite what some may believe, humans really did walk on the moon, as you can see in this photo. Want to know something really crazy? Only 12 people have ever actually landed on the moon, and the last moon landing was, wait for it, all the way back in 1972. Can you believe it? This means that no human has set foot on the moon in over 50 years. This incredible photo was snapped during that last mission in 1972, Apollo 17. A jetpack. As you've already seen, some of the declassified photos that the government has released are of the weird inventions of the past century. This photo in particular is of some sort of jetpack chair, which is pretty cool if you ask us. Why does the government need a jetpack chair, you ask? Who knows? Maybe it was the college intern's final project for the semester. Now they can release that to the general public. Please and thank you. Water landing practice. Before the very first moon landing, as the Apollo 1 mission, astronauts had to practice landing in various environments, including water, to be prepared for any situation. This photo shows astronauts Gus Grissom, Roger Chafee, and Ed White. The mission was scheduled to take place on February 21, 1967, but tragically, all three of the astronauts pictured were killed on the launch pad during a test January 27, 1967, before any real launch took place. 
an upside down military plane. This photo is of an inverted A-12 being prepared for radar testing at the military base at Area 51. It makes sense that so many people reported alien sightings when you see how bizarre this reconnaissance aircraft looks. At the same time, it's so inconspicuous that it almost looks like it could blend in with the clouds. So why is it inverted, you ask? Because it's easier to simulate the orientation of radar hitting the plane from long distances by flipping it over while it's on the ground. A Family Photo on the Moon Charles Duke is a former astronaut and the 10th person to walk on the moon, as well as the youngest person ever to do so at age 36. During the Apollo 16 mission in 1972, Duke left an interesting item on the moon, a portrait of his family encased in plastic. On the back of the photo, he wrote a message that reads, This is the family of astronaut Duke from planet Earth who landed on the moon on the 20th of April, 1972. The Queen in Uniform you may have already known that many members of the British royal family, including Harry and William, were expected to give formal military service when they were young. And Queen Elizabeth II was no exception. She served at the tail end of World War II from 1945 through 1949 as a mechanic in the Auxiliary Territorial Service. She climbed the ranks to reach subaltern status, which is the equivalent to Army Lieutenant. That gun photo makes a bit more sense now, huh? Nuclear Waste Disposal Deep in Yucca Mountain is the proposed site for the Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository, which would be the home of dangerous radioactive waste used by the United States military for the next 10,000 years. No, seriously. The project has encountered much opposition from the public and many politicians, so it is yet to come to fruition. In order to get to the top secret site where all of said nuclear waste would be kept, one would have to ride a shuttle train into a five-mile-long tunnel that's been bored straight into the mountain. But then again, why would you want to go there? The government's UFO drawings Apparently, it wasn't just conspiracy theorists and crazies who wanted to find out more about aliens and UFOs. The government apparently wanted it as well. These notes and sketches of a flying saucer were produced by a CIA agent who allegedly believed that he may have seen a UFO out in the wild. He's going to want to work on his drawing skills, though, because it looks more like a posh sun hat than a flying saucer. First Nuclear Bomb To the naked eye, this image may simply appear to be some workers around a piece of machinery. However, it's actually the first example of the weapon that changed the world. Taken in New Mexico in 1945, this photo shows one of the early nuclear bomb prototypes developed for the United States government's Trinity Project that would eventually see the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki developed. McCain's Capture Senator John McCain's time as a POW during the Vietnam War became a major part of his public image during his political career. This previously unreleased photo shows the moment McCain was pulled out of Vietnamese waters after his plane crashed. Secret Base As we said earlier, the United States conducted hundreds of nuclear tests in the Pacific Ocean in the years following World War II. In this rarely seen image, we can see the extent of the United States government's presence in the Pacific Atolls during this period. The Capture of Saddam Hussein Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein was captured by the United States military on December 17, 2003, months after the invasion of Iraq. The above photo was actually sent to United States leaders and military officials to confirm the capture. Pentagon Post-911 The September 11th attacks have been called by many the most photographed event in the history of the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that nearly every American has seen images of the World Trade Center from that day and the ruins of Ground Zero in the months after. However, images of the Pentagon in the aftermath of the attack were much harder to come by, likely because of potentially strategic military importance. <laughs>